Hey y'all, check it out. Here I am in the heart of Deep East Texas. It's a beautiful day in Deep East Texas. I've been treating myself to a juice feast. Got my juicer out. Haven't done it in a while. Got this juicer from my old neighbor Ashley. What a sweet lady she was. Or is. I mean, she still is a sweet lady. She lives in Santa Fe now, though. I chopped up some apples and some golden beets and some celery and some homegrown kale. And I just was a juicing fool. Juiced a, a couple times here, and it was delicious and nutritious. And it's not only good for me, it's good for my worms. That's right. I got another worm bin out and uh, got it all set up. Gonna put this in there and get it ready to get uh, loaded up with worms. I'll show you all about it real soon. There's the big blue bin. I've had it, but I'm gonna get it going again. I got my first crop showing. I planted these radishes last weekend and uh, I'm gonna plant some more down that other bed. I got a plastic bag out because it was getting cold at night and I didn't want it to frost, so I covered them up. And you can see little rows of green sprouts. Those are the radishes. You can't really see them, can you? I'll move up there and uh, get you up close. I got the uh, red radishes and the white radishes and some beets in here. The beets haven't really shown up yet. But the kitty has shown up. Hi, kitty. Yeah, I planted uh, two kinds of radishes with uh, carrots right in the same row. And uh, <laughs> you, you are friendly this morning, aren't you? Hello. Hello. Oh, I love you, Timmy. Oh, thank you, kitty. Yeah, no sign of the carrots yet. And no sign of the beets yet. But here's my first crop for 2017. Radishes. And uh, I'm just going to keep on the water and I'm going to give them a little water. Probably put the plastic back on them tonight for another uh, week or so. Because it's been getting pretty chilly at night. I don't think it's going to frost, but I don't want to take the chance. And uh, I'm going to do the other little bed this weekend, probably with some Swiss chard, uh, some lettuce, and maybe a little more carrot, a little more radish. Just uh get them all going, get these front beds going. And I'm excited. Look at them! I'm gonna eat you! Hello! What you got, kitty? Hey, everybody. Uh, I planted this little uh, pear tree here uh, for a guy I never met. Uh, it's in memory of a young man named Noah. He just passed away recently and uh, seemed like he had a really good family. Uh, they seemed like really nice folks. He looked like he was very well loved and he will be sorely missed. But uh, I know that all over the country, uh, this Arbor Day and before, people are planting little trees that will grow into be big trees and uh, every time they walk by it, every time they pick some fruit from it, or they prune it back, we'll think of that young man named Noah, who died too young, but was well-loved. 